I'm Judy and I'm going to um, try to get you through the first session of our lace weaving workshop. But first of all, I'd like to acknowledge the Columbia Kootenai Cultural Alliance through arts funding to communities who allowed us to um, do this workshop. So um, to do lace, on this loom here you should have your your loom set up to a, and it should look about like this and then we're ready to go <clears throat> we're going to do four different uh, variations of eyelet and i think everyone has received their uh, handouts for that the first one is called single direction eyelet and it's this one the second one is the split eyelet which is this technique the third one is making designs with eyelet. And then the last one is going to be the double direction eyelet. When I started weaving, I just did a single uh, weight of weft. You can see it here. And then I changed here to, uh, I doubled up the weft and I found it actually looked and felt quite a bit better. So on your boat shuttle, you should uh, have two layers of weft wound around to do this. So the single direction eyelet we're going to do first. Oh, and another thing I wanted to mention with all the lace weaves is um, to try and use smooth yarns because if you use bumpy or fuzzy yarns, your, your um, lace won't show. We'll start with the single direction eyelet. So you always, when you're doing it, starting from the right, your first shed should have this thread on the very right should be up. And then you go under six the first time. You could use any number, but I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to use um, combinations of three. So go under actually just go under three. Three threads. And instead of beading with your beater, just use a little comb. Change your shed. Don't pull it tight at the salvage. And then change your shed and go back under three threads. And bead it with your comb. And then change your shed again. And this time, instead of going under three, go under six. Do not pull it tight at the selvage. Beat it again. And then beat this little part there down. Now I'll just go back under the three after you change your shed. And this time, pull it tight. Change your shed under six. Pull it tight. Beat it. So now you go across your whole warp. Under three. Change your shed or under six. Beat it. And you'll see there's a little curve here where your weft goes down to the next batch. So you just go under three. Oops, sorry, we should do this. Under six, all the way across. Under three. Change your head. Under six. Under three, change your shed, under six. And try to pull it a little tight to make those holes so the lace shows. Under three, under six. Three. This 
go right across to the left selvage like this. Here you'll notice instead of the six, I have seven, but that's okay. Just, just read it. So that's your first row done. And then to get back to the right side, you just change your shed and bring your boat shuttle across and beat it. And that's a row of five at all done. Now make sure when you do this, this little bit here, on your left selvage that you don't pull it tight so your selvages are nice and straight. Um, you can do as many rows of this as you want or you could just do one row. It's um, nice on the edge of a scarf or maybe on a hem of your sleeve or at the bottom of a shirt or on placemats. Um, the important thing is to just keep it consistent. Uh, another thing I did to make my, my weaving easier to see was I put a, uh, a dark cloth under my warp and then you can see the, the threads more easily so you might want to do that on your loom as well. And that's the end of the single direction um, eyelet. You can do as many uh, rows of this as, as you want or you could just do one row, whatever you like.